He's going to sit in this fire. Well, the story, you remember what? They wanted me to do the flaming arsehole. You remember the toilet thing that I did? No, no, no. The toilet paper thing. Have you not seen that? No, I don't think I have. The, the amazing shot where I set toilet paper on fire up my arse. Have you not seen that? Oh, no, no, no. Okay. So, yeah, so you do the, like, yeah, you yeah. roll it up into, like, a little rose and then. No, no, no. There's, like, it's on um, YouTube where you get a piece of toilet. It's called the, um, what is it called? The amazing shot on YouTube. Okay. And you get a, a piece of toilet paper, you make it the length of your leg, and you get a beer, you drop your pants, you put the top of it in between your butt cheeks, right? And then you set fire to it, <laughs> and you got to drink the beer before it burns your ass. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Have you not seen that? <laughs> we've before we watch this, you got to watch that, man. We, we've done tough man shots together, uh -huh. which, by the way, if you're unfamiliar with what a tough man shot is, is so what you do is, is you take a lime, and you squirt it in your eye, and then you take a line of salt, and you snort it, and the relief comes from when you do the shot of tequila. At <laughs> that point, is fucking irrelevant. <laughs> <What'd you say? laughs> exactly. At that point, you're just you like. You tell your tough man story. The what? shot that you did, somebody had you do a shot in front of a cop. The, the, the tough man. Oh, story. yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get to that. Yeah, yeah. But I want you to, like, see if you can look up uh, Steve Hurst, amazing shot. I can't okay. believe you've not seen this. No, dude. I've never seen this, dude. All right, man. Steve. Oh, I are. Oh, here you are. Yeah. All right, let's uh right at the top. Boom. Yeah, well, check this shit out. Brandon, uh We are about to show you the English retard. Now <laughs> if we are on YouTube at this point, I'd like to point out to you, don't try this at home. You might I am so drunk at this point <laughs> after a you show. Are not a bigger knobhead than I am at this point. <laughs> now, what I'm gonna do. Did you say Rizzle? A fucking hammer. You were drinking with Snoop, weren't you? I'm gonna put toilet paper on my book. I'm gonna set fire to it. And before I reach my foothold, I'm gonna drink a pint of beer. And then I finish the pint of beer. Time out. Did he put the? Did he put? Are you putting up your own butt? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Well. I can smell the burnt hair. <laughs> that flame was fucking huge, bro. <laughs> Dude, so after that, right, I'm, I didn't realize how badly burnt it was. I'm like, fuck, I'm going to have to go to hospital. Because, I mean, it was bad. Uh -huh. So Nathan, I take Nathan with me. And, like, this is, this is just like... This is what an idiot I am when I'm drunk. I'm like, Nathan, man, it's really bad. Look at it, dude. And he's like, I'm not looking. I'm like, just look, dude. It's fucked up. I'm not looking. I go, just look. And he looks. And I go, ha, you're gay. And he was like, <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, you're such an idiot, dude. <laughs> so we get to the hospital. And, I walk, and I'm fucking drunk. You know, and I walk in. And she's like, can I help you? I'm like, can you fix this? And they were like, fucking kids in there and shit. And they're like, get him his own room. So... <laughs> I'm in this fucking room and I'm lying on my belly with my butt hanging out, right? And this fucking doctor walks in and he goes, so what happened? And I go, uh, I put toilet paper on my butt and set fire to it. And he goes, you're an idiot. And just left, right? And just fucking walked out. Nobody came in 
to help me after that. <laughs> so I fucking took my socks off and emptied the fucking shelves, like what was in there, like medicine and shit. <laughs> and off I fucking went. Dude. <laughs> Nobody came to fucking help me, dude. But I still have a scar on my arse that looks like fucking Italy. Um, it was so bad. Like, it, was, it didn't heal for like three months. Jesus. Right. So this, what we were about to get to, John said to me with this, with this next video, John said, why don't you do the Flaming Arsehole shot, the amazing shot? And I was like, you're out of your fucking mind. I'm not doing that. I've already got scars from it. You know, I'm not doing that. And so then we got on to, well, let's get Dino to sit in the fucking fire. Dano. Yeah. Dano. All right, you guys ready for this? So to set this, this is Jade Simone St. Clair. This is Dano, the bartender, Josh, the midget, uh, and I think the rest of the management staff. That was that the porn star or something? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. that was the girl. I've I've done a bunch of stuff with her uh, with Playboy TV with tour dates and shit like that. She was cool as shit. Dude. She actually works now with um, Piff the Magic Dragon, the yeah, yeah, yeah. comedian yeah, yeah. Yeah. musician. They have their own show. Actually, I caught their show when I was out there right before I saw you. So huh. the first night I was out there, I caught their show, hung out, and uh, got to catch up with her, got to meet him. He's great. Um, she was really cool. Yeah, and she's hilarious, too. Yeah. She writes a ton of material for, yeah. between the both of them. Um, we're going to start this video. Fucking, oh, look at John's got John. Dude, that flame, that thing was going all night, too. There you are. Yeah, stood next to the midget. Yeah. You look tall as hell. <laughs> Thanks, man. I just want to know what your fucking neighbors are thinking right now. John, I look to see Five seconds. Five seconds, motherfucker. Don't get scared. Um, I ain't got no insurance. <laughs> Famous last words. He was serious when he said it as well. Yeah. <laughs> All right, go. Go. One, two, three, go. Oh, my God. One, two, three, oh my God. three four, five. That's a long oh. five count. Yeah, he didn't count that in like real seconds. <laughs> that was eight seconds, to be honest. <laughs> That's Michael Cho over there. Yeah. Oh Holy shit. <laughs> Dude, he was in some fucking pain. At I first, know. he wasn't feeling anything. And then all of a sudden. And then. And yeah. then, and then, like, once he started realizing that, like, his ass was blistering up, he was like, oh, I fucked yeah. up. Yeah. <laughs> he had a, at the end of that, he had second degree burns, and we sent him home. We put together like a, a bag of ice to put down his yeah. in his seat, and I think he drove himself to the hospital after we were all partying that yeah. morning. Well, did um, did we tell him what happened as well? In addition to that, with the midget. Oh shit, dude, Matt. So 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 Josh. <laughs> Just the, when he couldn't get any worse. I don't think we. <laughs> so I'm kind of glad we didn't film this because it was one of those. It was completely. Somebody did. You know, I, there is a video of it somewhere, but I don't know who's got it. Somebody, you know what? I can hit up the staff. Some of these guys yeah. don't work for us anymore, but I can hit up most of the staff and figure out. I know most of most of, mostly everyone that was there that night. So the kicker of this, Steve, I'm gonna let you jump in on this story. Go ahead and. I right, so you know the uh, his butt starts to blister, and one of them like a really big blister, and I think it was John that came up with the idea. <laughs> he said to the little person <laughs> i don't know why he picked him but he goes i'll give you what was it 700 dollars, 700 bucks to bite the blister and suck the puss out oh. <laughs> and i was like there's no fucking way and the midget was like i'll do it but i need a sprite <laughs> <laughs> and i was like he, the there's no the fucking way he's gonna do the blister was like that I mean, it was like a little, it was like fucking that, right? Yeah. And it was getting bigger and bigger. And this, I'll, this midget went up and punk. <laughs> <laughs> fucking chugged it and did the sprite. And everybody was like, <laughs> <laughs> it was, fuck, I was dry heaving for like 10 minutes. I was like, <laughs> The midget's oh like, my oh my god, that was fucking nasty. I'm like, what did you expect, yeah. motherfucker? <laughs> you just be good. drank puss out of someone's ass, dude. <laughs> he probably hasn't even fucking showered either. He worked a whole shift. He's sweaty. And he 
did it for seven hundred. Seven hundred fucking dollars. Fuck. Bit a blister this big and sucked the puss out mm. and shot it with fucking sprite. Yeah, that that's that's test- what we used to do though, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> like when I used to come up with stupid shit like that. And then uh <laughs> Nowadays we don't do that shit because we we assumed it's probably gonna get us canceled for whatever the fuck yeah. we're doing. <laughs> it's shit like that it used to get me hired though. Isn't it? Yeah, like, people were, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but that was that was one of the and, and what I guess what people don't realize as well is we've been fucking partying all night. That yeah. was eight o'clock in the morning. We of had us drinking and partying. And shit. Yeah. So oh, I think the next morning. Yeah. yeah. So mm-hmm. we so we set up that that anniversary party and. Whenever Jade's around, I always end up co-hosting whatever event she's doing, and then it's usually me DJing as well. So I played probably a two-hour set, plus was hosting on the mic, talking to people, doing shit in front of the camera, and then we got done at bar time, and all of us went to Ferraro's house from like 2.30 in the morning, 3 in the morning, and that's probably 8, 9 in the morning of us hanging out on like a November morning. Yeah. drinking outside and then we kept going after this so oh, yeah we convinced the midget or excuse me the little person to bite the blister <laughs> off of dano's ass yeah. like an hour or two later where it was like oh look at the size of that blister what's that <laughs> worth to you dude i when, couldn't believe he fucking i was like you nasty little fucker when when he said you know? wait let me get a i thought for sure he was gonna ask for more money when yeah. he says sprite i was like what the fuck is <laughs> i tell you, you man, have shit for fucking negotiation skills when i saw him do it i couldn't fucking believe he was doing it. i'm like this motherfucker must be so broke for 700 dollars, you're gonna suck it's to the point where the guy what? that offered the money is probably like, shit, I probably could have got him for 50. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. John would have done if he could have fucking done it. He'd probably yeah. done it for 200 as well. But, yeah, that was the nastiest thing I ever fucking saw, man. I mean, I was really dry heaving. I yeah. was legitimately going... <laughs> <laughs> like, three or four people were fucking throwing up. And yeah. Oh, yeah. The midget's like, oh, my God. God, that was fucking horrible. Give me some Sprite. The girls that were hanging out, there was a couple of them that were throwing up in John's bushes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can't fucking... Be- and you know it's crazy? Like, I tell him stories like this, and I'm sure people are like, what the fuck ever? But you were there. You yeah. Know? It's like, yeah. you, you know, it, it's true. It's, it's fucking robbery. crazy, but it really happens. So like part, part of the reason I've, I've, I started the podcast was because of the fact that, like, there's stories like this that exist where I'm around for them and stuff like that. And you tell them normal people and they're like, that didn't fucking happen. They don't believe you. Yeah. yeah. Like I was telling a uh, completely unrelated topic. I was telling the story about how a bunch of us, it was bouncers and, and a couple other people. We were up at a strip club in like Northern Wisconsin and we had an issue with one of their bouncers and we just went, fuck it. And we beat the shit out of the entire staff and left. And people were like, didn't happen. I go, no, it, it happened. And that story will eventually be covered on this fucking podcast. Or we turn around and we go, yeah, we paid a little person 700 bucks to bite a blister off of a yeah. guy's ass. Yeah. Who we had sit in a fire pit yeah. for five grand. Uh, yeah. All this stuff where, where you tell people these stories and they're like, did that really fucking happen? Or these are my common stories that I tell at parties and shit like that. And people are like, what the fuck do you do? Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like, and, and I, I try to, like, I feel like stuff like this for a period of time in my life was just normal. Yeah. Like, this is what everyone does at their parties. Like, of course, you get someone to do some wild ass shit and stuff like that. And people are like, wait, you do what at parties? <laughs> I was like, well, we ah, drink till 10 in the morning. Uh, <laughs> Set people on fire. Set people on fire. You know what I did last time? Was that last time joke was over. The last fucking weekend it was open. This is my idiot thing I did that week. Oh, which no. is not as bad as that. But I was like, you know, I was fucking drunk. And I go, hey, let's do a, um, let's do like a, a shot, right? Where I'm going to, I'm going to put seven shot glasses out because there's seven of us. Mm-hmm. Six of them are going to have Jägermeister. One of them is going to have Windex, right? <laughs> and a little bit of Jäger, but you can't tell, right? Oh, I'm like, yeah. do you guys want to do it? And, and they were like, yeah. And I was like, really? <laughs> They're like, yeah. So I'm like, all right. So I fucking make the shots and like, you know, I, I don't know which one it is and I mix them up and I go, all right, just to show you that I'm not a fucking pussy, I go first. And I get a shot. Boom. I'm like, motherfucker, it was Windex. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, my tongue's swelling out, man. 
<laughs> it like kind of fucking scared me for like five minutes because my mouth was like weird and shit. And they were like, are you going to be okay sipping that fucking Jaeger? I was like, fuck you. I know why you're sipping it. There's nothing in it. But I was the first one. And like, it just, my mouth just went. Mm. <laughs> I fucking couldn't speak right and shit. And I was like, I might die, man. Like, Lead into the tough man shot that you did. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, I learned the tough man shot at Jokers, if you remember. You remember that crazy bouncer, Rich? He, no joke, he's in jail right now. Is he really? <laughs> Man, he's, he's, he's fucking cool as shit. And he goes, I got a shot for you. And I'm like, what? And I saw him do it. And I'm like, oh, fuck, I wish I hadn't seen that because now I'm going to do it. We you used to do I mean? those like, all, the all the fucking time. For no, and it was just one of those that we would be out and we'd be like, let's do a tough man shot. Yep. Let's do a tough man shot. There was no rhyme, reason. It's not like girls were impressed by it. No. It's not like people were like, let me see you do it. We just pulled it out and people are like, what no. the fuck is wrong? No one with you wanted guys? to do it. People were just like, you're a fucking idiot. Yeah. And yeah then, I mean, go, go, go. So once again, stupid. you snort a line of salt, you crush a lime in your eye, and then you drink a shot of tequila. Yeah. And then we upped it to the point where we started taking the lime and breaking it on the bridge of our nose. So it went into both eyes because that was yeah. the even tougher yeah. version of doing it. I've done both nostrils, both fucking eyes. You can only um, go tough from here. Oh, it's such a fucking retarded shot. I was in Odessa, right? And the club was kind of ghetto. So they had these cops there, right? Gangster shit there. Mm -hmm. And so they had two cops in there. My friend, um, Rob Jenkins, a really good friend of mine, he owned the club. And I said to him, hey, uh, let's do a fucking tough man shot on stage. He's like, oh, man, come on, dude. You don't want to fucking do that shit. I'm like, come on, man. There's like fucking 300 people here. I'll give you a shout out. I mean, come on, dude. Like, fucking stop being a girl. And Rob's a little crazy. He's like, man, fuck it. I'll do it. But <laughs> what I didn't tell him is I'd got a bunch of cocaine and I put it into a salt shaker, right? <laughs> so it looked like salt was in it, right? And so... I get it all set up, and I've got it, and there's two cops there, and I'm like, yeah, yo, it looks like blow, and they're like, yeah, fuck you. Like, yeah. <laughs> so I fucking line it up, right? And Rob comes on stage in front of 300 people and two cops, right? <laughs> and, and I go, I'll go first, fuck it, and I did it. I was like, it ain't that bad. And fucking Rob goes, he goes, what the fuck? I go, shut up! He goes, God damn, dude. <laughs> and he, just, he looks at me, he's like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> dude, we just snorted a line of blow in front of two <laughs> And they were fucking laughing. They're like, these motherfuckers are crazy. <laughs> That's funny. Shut up. <laughs> His fucking face. Yeah, it was fucking great, oh. man. 